Miss Butcher. Mariner gets up. Oh, good save by Wells. Very good save indeed from Paul Mariner. By Peter Wells. It was a good cross and Mariner got up well. Thought he had it away to the goalkeeper's left, but what a good turn round by the Southampton keeper. Mariner's got options to his right, Hurley again. Brazil. It's Gates. Superb goal by Eric Gates. A lovely strike after 12 minutes, and Ipswich deserved their lead. What a good build-up. First by George Burley at right back. Then Alan Brazil holding, waiting, getting the ball back inside, and Eric Gates struck it first time. And every striker loves to see a ball fly in like that. Brazil. Burley. This is good build-up again. Ipswich are playing some crisp football. Brazil's in there once more. It's John Wall. John Walk this time, but Brazil was in there again, he confused the defence, and Ipswich have scored two in a minute. Such a good inventive move again, the passing was precise, Southampton were drawn out of position, Alan Brazil confused the defence, and John Walk ran on to lash that high into the net. Malcolm Waldron, the referee allows him to take it very quickly, and here's Gates. To the right is Burley. Here's Brazil. Here's Walk. If there's a player offside there, I wouldn't think that would have counted. Just feel as that ball was played back by Brazil to Walk, I think Paul Mariner on the far post had just strayed into an offside position. And although Peter Wells made a very good save, I don't think it mattered. Mills was ready again, the sign of a good pro. Quick to atone for his own mistake. Brazil, fine run, brilliant run by Brazil, and Brazil makes it three. A glorious goal, started from the back, initially by Beatty, Mills took it up, but what happened when it reached Brazil? He just picked the ball up and went on running, took his time, went past another defender, Hit it left foot, and he found the target. 31 minutes gone, and Ipswich Town 3, Southampton 0. Muran with the kick. Mariner. It's a fascinating meeting, that, between Mariner and Watson, because both are acknowledged to be outstanding in the air, and Mariner has won more than his fair share, I would say. Burley. Right across to Gates. Good save. That wasn't easy for the goalkeeper. It must have come through a crowd of players from Eric Gates. Wellstra bounced awkwardly, and Wells did well to get to it and turn it round. Shannon. That's a good ball, and he's onside here. Hebbard got through, good save by Cooper. That's Alan Ball, and Williams couldn't make it at the far post. And Ipswich just reminded there that this game is not quite as dead and buried as they might like to think. And now the Southampton manager goes down for a closer look. He might have felt his side should have scored there. Shannon <laughs> putting Hebbard through, and Paul Cooper coming off his line. Hebbard perhaps delaying a little bit to make sure, and Cooper making a good save. His first difficult save. Williams. Ball is pulled across to the left in this attack. This is Chris Nickel. Little ball fed through for Phil Boyer. And he's missed it. And the flag stayed down, so it would have counted. Ipswich wondering quite who was supposed to be marking Boyer, and the answer was that nobody did. And the ball was fed through quite nicely there. And Boyer had a very good chance, but didn't hit the target. And he seems to be finding that in home matches, as I said earlier on. Gates. It's a fine ball to De Vray. Arnold Muren in the centre. Mariner trying to make it, and Brazil. De Vray pulls it back to Gates.
Gates who had the shot, but the appreciation. Murin. That's a good turn by Paul Mariner. Fine run by Mariner. And just at the end. Now, has he given a penalty? He has. Dave Watson protests. And the referee has given a penalty for the challenge at the end of Mariner's run. Watson going across to argue about it. But a foul, says the referee. It looked a little innocuous, perhaps, at first sight. But he was knocked to one side. And a penalty it is to Ipswich. With five minutes left, and Alan Ball has walked behind the goal. And the referee may be talking to him about dissent. And if he is, it could be serious, because he's already had a booking. And Alan Ball, the Southampton captain, is entitled to speak for his team but the referee is not going to change his mind. Mariner. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> I suppose South Acton will say that there was a bit of rough justice done there. Paul Mariner was the man allegedly brought down, and he's the man who shakes his head because that penalty was blusted wildly over the bar. Williams. Oh, touch there, was that? And Williams gets the shot right through, and Williams gets a goal back. Well, it flew straight through. Cooper was deceived by a Southampton player in the way, but Steve Williams claimed the goal, and his first goal in the league this season, I do believe. take the points thanks to a scintillating first half performance and Southampton getting respectability back in the second but Mick Mills leading the team by example and a sign that Ipswich don't belong in the bottom three which is where they started today's game Gates walk and Brazil the scorers for Ipswich in the first half Mariner missed a penalty in the second half which could have made it 4-0 instead Southampton got one back near the end but on the match as a whole Ipswich worthy winners and they will be hoping that now, after two successive wins, they'll start to climb the table. Southampton, though, have lost six matches out their last seven, and as the players go off, they'll be concerned about that.